six. Attacked as a female wanting to have a family and still be in this coaching role, I don't think that I would have been addressed or talked to at all if I had been a male carrying a baby onto the floor. A coach from an Alaskan wrestling team is upset after being told she couldn't have her baby on the wrestling floor. She's in Fargo coaching her team in the national championship tournament, along with wrestlers from 48 other states. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And DSU and USA Wrestling say it's a safety risk. But as Valley News team's Ashley Bishop explains, the longtime wrestler and coach feels it had less to do with the baby and more about her being a woman. Marcy Lane says she has been here in the past years and always seen coaches with babies and young children in the corner on the wrestling floor. But Sunday, things were different than past years. And I went to go reach for my baby and take my baby out with me, and he uh, said babies and kids are not allowed on the mat and wouldn't let us go out on the mat and coach. Fargo Police Officer Joel Vettel is working with NDSU on behalf of the event. He says it was a safety risk to have an infant that close to the action on the floor and brought it to the attention of USA Wrestling, where they had the final decision. We made a decision based on the safety of the individuals involved, right, with the request of the security that we looked at the factors and said that this is very reasonable, that we do not have infants on the floor of a wrestling event. Okay, is that going forward for every wrestling event or just here? Uh, the, what we decided yesterday with what we decided yesterday is for this tournament. USA Wrestling offered babysitting for Marcy, but she declined, saying she didn't know the people that would have been watching her child. The shock to me because I had been to four other national tournaments this year and coached with the baby in the corner. Wrestling typically is a family sport and there's babies and kids around. Others say it's a safety risk, but Marcy says otherwise. I've seen no instances with babies being held by parents in the past. I have seen instances where kids that are walking across the mat or around the mat have had instances with wrestlers, but they're unsupervised. And as far as I can tell, the staff here on the floor is young kids that aren't paying attention. Which was seen at a wrestling match today. A young staff member sat on the mat eating pizza. USA Wrestling says their staff does have a duty. The children that are staff volunteering here, are they close to the action? Not near as close as the individuals in the corner. Marcy and her baby plan to support her athletes from the stands. Our sport's growing, and if they don't allow us to be down there and be pioneers and show women that you can do things with your children, then then I, we won't be coming around. You know, we can't. We can't. You can't ask us to choose between our family and the love for our sport. In Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. The wrestling tournament has brought in more than 4,000 participants and is the biggest wrestling tournament in the world. It continues through the end of the week. And if you have an issue in your community, call our whistleblower hotline at 701-237-6576 and leave your tip. A member of our investigative team will then get on the case.